right, everyone, what's going on? This is another episode of TMP, and today I have a very special guest right here in the studio. I call him the classic Prince Robert Timms. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm good. I'm blessed. I'm happy. We're here. You happy? We're so here. listen, of yes. course you got to be happy because you are, I, I've known you for, for a few years now, and mm -hmm. I, I remember meeting you when you were in your way up, when you right. started basically competing. You were active duty military. Yes, sir. Air Force. Yes, sir. And I remember, um, I remember meeting you. I don't know where it was. It was at some expo. It could have been the Olympia or... Was it the it Olympia? Was. It was. Yeah. So, and I remember when I first saw you, I was like, "Damn, this is a kind. This is a physique that I want to have." Right. You know, tall. Because mm -hmm. how tall are you? Six one. Six foot one, mm -hmm. and and you know the shoulder width and everything. I was like, "This is uh, first." First, when I saw you, I thought about Tyrese. <laughs> right. <laughs> I said he looked just like Tyrese. Right. right. So, and and I remember, I was like, you know, I was like, this is the this is the perfect physique. Mm -hmm. And back then, there was no classic. Right. There was only either bodybuilding or physique. and physique. And mm -hmm. I know you did some bodybuilding shows in the military. Right. So tell, tell me about that. Tell me about the military. <laughs> How long have you been in the military and, and uh, what shows did you, did you enter? So um, I've been in the military now. It'll be 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, I have um, came in when I was 19. The first two shows I did were in Korea. I was stationed in Korea. I started lifting in 2011 when I was stationed in Afghanistan. Um, 2014, I was in Korea. Um, there was two. There was a base show, and my friend he told me he was like, "Hey man, you should you should go in." And at this time, I only had been lifting for like three years. But um, when I was lifting, I was kind of making leaps and bounds, you know, because I had to make it make sense mm -hmm. when I was lifting. I couldn't just go in there and just move weight. I had to make it make sense and. Um, so I kind of was real meticulous when, how, when I started lifting. And so he noticed it. He said, hey, man, you should try to do a show. It wasn't in my plan, none of that stuff. Um, and I said, you know, I'll try it. So I tried it, won the first show. Um, and I kind of got a bug after that. Mm -hmm. And I was on a base. I was on an Army base, actually. And um, after that show, I did a Muscle Mania show. The, the, the Muscle Mania? The yes. One? Okay. Mm -hmm. It was in the, in Korea. It was in Seoul, Korea, and I took first in my class. I didn't win the overall. Okay. And then that was a week later after my first show. Then I moved to Arizona, um, here in Phoenix, and um, I did my first base show, and I took first in overall in that show. And then I went to a week later and got a INBA pro card at a um, and did that show as well. Then I met you mm -hmm. at the Olympia. All right, let's let's back up a little bit first okay. because okay. In, the, in the military, not only, I mean, the, 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 are you in the, in the Air Force fifteen years? But I remember you also a cancer survivor. Yes, sir. correct. Yes, so sir. tell us about that. How did you know? Mm -hmm. How you ended up with bone? Was it bone cancer? So what it was was it was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. A who? A non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. A no, okay. Okay, and it was in my lymph node, in my inside of my bone. So what it was, um, I had pain in my knee, in my left knee. So my, it, it, it wouldn't go away. I took medicine, I kept going to the doctors, and the doctors, the military doctors kept saying, oh, it's just tendonitis. Did you think it was from training? I didn't know what it was from. Okay. I just knew that my knee was hurting, and I knew it was a different kind of pain because it wasn't a pain that would ease. It was okay. just constant. Constant, like one out of 10, how, how bad It was, was 10. It? Oh, for oh, real? Yes, it was bad, and the thing was, in the military, um, on the flight line, we have a, like our, the culture on the flight line is different. When you're working um, on jets, the culture's kind of different. Mm -hmm. So it's more so like you grunt it out, right? But um, me, I was kind of, and I tried, I tried to grunt it out and um, I kept, you know, I was like, ah, telling my supervisor. Were I, you I limping got, and all that? I was, okay. I was, you know, and I kept telling him, something's not right, man. You know, I got I need to go to the doctor. He's like, oh, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. So he said, you know, he was supportive about it. Let me go. Um, and as I was going, my doctor kept prescribing me different medications, just like painkillers uh, pain and, and cortisone and shots, oh. stuff like that. And yeah, it would mask it, but it wouldn't heal it. Mm -hmm. So I was, I requested another doctor. I got another doctor. The doctor came in and he said, uh, let me do some, let me do a bone scan and um, everything like that. So come to find out, he showed me the x-ray of my bone. My right bone, shin, 
was all white, and that's how it's supposed to look. The left one was all white and black at the top. And he said, the black is like cancer. He's like, that's cancer. Mm. So it came down to my, um, um, more, it was more so like leukemia. Got you. Okay. So um, after I got diagnosed, my mom actually works, my real mother, she actually works at Walter Reed Medical Center, which is in Maryland. I was stationed in Italy at the time. Mm -hmm. She's actually a doctor over there. So we, um, I told, he, he gave me the option. He said, you can go to Walter Reed or Wilford Hall. Wilford Hall is in Texas. He, I said, well, my mom works at Walter Reed, so I'd rather go there. He gave her a call. She said, send him. Don't set up doctors. Don't set up anything. I'll take care of it. So what she did, so as soon as I called, two days later, I was out of Italy. I was in Maryland. Christmas Eve, I got my first bone biopsy on my shin. Mm -hmm. Rewind back. Before I w after I was diagnosed, the doctor came and told me, you may have to live with one leg. Wow. Because the cancer at the top. Another doctor came in and said, get out. He said, yes, that's worst case scenario, but the chemotherapy should kill it. He's like, we get, uh, we get, we take care of it, get aggressive, make it, you know, and knock it out. I said, okay. I did, so I did seven sessions of chemotherapy. My mom, she took care of me the whole time I was there. That's where I garnered a lot of my IT knowledge and hands-on experience mm -hmm. inside of the military. So the beautiful thing of the military is they took care of me. Mm -hmm. um, medical expenses, all that stuff was taken care of. Didn't have to worry about that. Um, and then knowledge. So I couldn't work on the flight line anymore at that time. Mm -hmm. So they said, well, what would you like to do? I said, something with computers. I've always been a tech kid. I wanted to work at Intel since I was 14. Mm -hmm. Built my first, my first computer at 14. So um, after I get there, they put me in the comm section. I flourish there, learn all my IT experience, get actual experience, hands-on experience. And then they say, okay, you're, you're healed, right? You're in remission. Um, now I go back to my regular job. So I went back to loading bombs, everything. Um, How long did it take, though, from the, the day you were <clears throat> diagnosed right. to today to say, listen, you're good? So I did, um, I was diagnosed in December. I finished my seven sessions that were three weeks apart um, in, I want to say, June. So September to June. No, no, no. December. December to, to June. June. So mm -hmm. like eight months. Eight months. Mm -hmm. Eight months until you until said cancer, cancer mm -hmm. free. Yep. So, and, and it, wasn't, it wasn't bad in the beginning, right? Mm. The first session, and I asked him, I said, how long would it be until it stops hurting? He said, the first session, you won't, it, it'll stop hurting. The first chemo. The first chemotherapy session, which is, and people think it's like a radiation type thing. No, it's a I, pill. It, no. Oh, no? It's IV. Oh, I, everything's oh, intravenous. Okay, yeah. So there are some pills you have to take, yeah. obviously, right? But then there's intravenous. So oh. th it's multiple types of it's multiple types of chemotherapies. Um, so you did seven sessions in seven, three weeks. In, every three weeks, I did. Oh, every three every three weeks. Because mm -hmm. it takes you out for a while. It huh? does. And the thing is that you know, it, depending on what medicines you're getting, um, I was going to. They asked if I wanted a port. Right, a port is where you go in all the time, get blood, give blood. You get your medicine through that port, and it's a, it's a surgery. I didn't get a port mm -hmm. because I didn't want to have that and have to take care of that. So they did everything through my veins. Gotcha. So there's one day I got stuck 13 times, mm -hmm. and it was just a matter of you know going through it. How was it though for mentally to to go through all this? And to, uh, when when did you know I'm not going to lose my leg? Because when the doctor said you might have to lift with one leg, what did that do to you, man? So for me, it was like, you you know, it's it's crazy. A lot of times you see stuff, mm -hmm. and you're like, and is and I tell people all the time, you, you see it, and you're like, oh, that'll never be me. You look, you like, why me? You're, Right. And I'm mm. like, out of all people, why me? Yeah. But then again, I always still believe, too, God won't put on, nothing on you that you can't bear. Yeah. So if not me, then who? And if not me, then that could have made somebody else go off the edge. Mm. Right. So, you know, it was it was one of those things that I had always been growing up. I've always been healthy. I've always been, you know, 
protected and everything, ne- nothing ever really bad happened. Mm-hmm. So when this happens, it's just like, you always, like I said, you always say, oh, that'll never be me. But if it's not you, then who is it? Yeah, somebody. Somebody has somebody, to, yeah. exactly. So that's kind of how it changed my mentality. So now it's always just be appreciative, mm-hmm. right? Be appreciative and, and do your best to take care of yourself as yeah. much as you can and keep pushing forward. Do you have to check still to make sure it I doesn't do. come back? So you have to do routine checks once a year. Mm-hmm. Once once a a year. year. Mm-hmm. And everything's good. Everything's good. Awesome. So now you fought this and now you're back. Right. You know, you meet me at the Olympia and I right. remember we started working together a little bit and right. we just tried to figure out what to do with you. Right. Because we, we didn't know where to put you. At all. And I remember the first show we did, was that the Arnold? It was the Arnold. It we, was. In Man Physique. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, listen, guys, I'm looking at you right now. I said, this guy has the best physique in the world. Hold now, on, hold on. Arnold said the same thing. Yeah. Arnold said the same thing. Yeah. But now, keep in mind, that, well, how many years ago was it? That was 2015. 2015. Mm-hmm. So six years ago, the men physique guys didn't look like they do today because they, they grew. And you right. can see they get bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. Back then... Robert Timms looked like these guys today. Right. And it was just too big. I remember <laughs> I, you I remember to telling him, don't open your back. <laughs> I remember that. I do remember that. Because when you turned around, it looked like a copra exactly. in between little, little snakes. It was unbelievable. So, you know, it, it didn't really, you know, your condition was, everything was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, that said, that, that wouldn't work because right. these guys were just too small back then. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I don't know, a year later or something? Mm-hmm. It was, I remember. So after that show, um, 2015 was when Classic Physique was announced. Okay. And I remember calling you. You did. As and soon t- as it, they announced it, <laughs> I got my phone went off the hook. And I was, like, <laughs> I was like, hello. And the first, no lie, this is exactly what you said. I answered the phone. He said, you're about to be a star. <laughs> I was like, okay. And he was like, you're doing the first show, I know. and you're going to do first nationals, and you're going to get your first pro show, and then you're going to go to Olympia. And I you said, did. okay. And I did it. You did. Everything you won, on the first you won try. Your first, to qualify for the nationals. Yep. Won the nationals. Won nationals. Won your first pro show. Wasn't it also in Texas? San Antonio. San there Antonio you go, Pro. And went to the Olympia. Yep. And, and, and that was, I think, the perfect class for you. It was. I agree. So back then, when, when you look back, you know, because your upper body was was, was dominant. Oh, yes. It was dominant oh, compared yes. to the legs. Right, right, right. And I remember you you struggled a little bit at the Olympia. I did. You know, you still place, you know, right, very right, well. Right. You know, the upper body is, you can right. compete with anybody. Absolutely. And then uh, you did before, how many Olympias did you do? I've done three so You've done far. three Olympias mm-hmm. so far. And then, I don't know, tell me what happened after the third Olympia that all of a sudden Robert Timms just disappeared. Okay, so for me... With my team, right? My team consists of my coach and my father. Um, Joe Weider's Olympia here in Orlando, Florida. A little bit strange coming out of Las Vegas for all of those years. Good evening and welcome to the event that nearly never happened. There's been an absence of a particular group of people on this stage that are back tonight. Tonight I'm here to say, welcome back to Miss Olympia. We went back and looked and said, okay, what's, what, what do we do to get better? And the only way to get better is time. And I knew that if I kept trying to bulk and cut, bulk and cut, bulk and cut, I'd never make it there. Because I knew my genetics were really, really good, really, really good, but it was just a matter of time. Mm. So <clears throat> I sat down, I sat down, I stayed training. I continued to train. Um, and so you, know so how you never stopped training? This, I this never time. stopped training. I never stopped dieting. Did you, lose, did you lose faith in bodybuilding? Never. The thing was, I knew... Because I'll tell you why I asked the question. 
I knew that I know you taught me is the game. You taught me the game. Okay. And what I mean is I understand that it's a lot of, there's a social media piece to it. There's a promotion piece to it. Mm -hmm. There's a physique piece to it. There's a presence piece to it. So all those pieces, I was like, okay, I need to focus on my piece that I can control right now. The only piece that I can control right now is me, my physique. So I focused on, I sat down from social media. I kind of shut my social media down. Um, and then obviously you have real life stuff going on as well, right? Um, so I just went to work. Mm. Slowly, we did it slowly, but it, it, it worked. And I held the weight for about a year and a half, two years. Um, maintained it, stayed that way. And you remember when we were working together, I hated losing my abs. I never wanted to lose my abs. But you always say, you gotta get, if you wanna get big, you gotta lose your abs. You don't have, Just you don't have to necessarily not lose, lose them, but you have to, you know, you, you, know, you can't be ripped all right, year. Right, exactly. And I'm just used to that. I'm used to being ripped all year. Mm. So I kind of stepped out of that comfort zone. Got to get a little meaty here. You have to get a little bit. And, <laughs> and so I did that. <laughs> and um, I grew and the results showed in Texas. Yeah. So so could you, if you remember, how much did you weigh, let's say, the first Olympia? First Olympia, probably, probably 198. 198. You're talking 6'1". 6'1 and 198. How much did you weigh in Texas? Texas, this last show, I was 238. 238. 238 on weigh-ins. So you were like... 40 pounds. Yes, bigger. yes. From the first Olympia to this uh, yeah. uh, Texas, yes. Mm -hmm. that's My a, last that's Olympia. That's a crazy 20, amount of muscle. Mm -hmm. 2018 Olympia, I was 219. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so still 30 pounds. Right. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, though. Because mm -hmm. you, know, you didn't lose anything. You didn't lose no shape. Right. No, the symmetry was. And that's and that the symmetry was even better. Mm -hmm. Because the legs start to come up, right? You know, so and if you keep, I, I think if you keep staying working on them legs, and oh, yeah. you know, I, I believe you don't listen. You know, some players, uh, his legs are bigger, and then you see some guys in classic physique mm -hmm. with huge legs. Mm -hmm. So, what's more classic? Right, and that's the thing is, I look at it like this, right? Everybody's going to have their opinion. That's mm -hmm. fine. That's it's fine. But the thing is, I, I love the fans. Right, but I, I I block all that noise out, and I, you know who told me this? Um, Sadiq. I saw Sadiq in Germany, and it was at FIBO, and he said, you know, I kind of sometimes take what the fans say and the haters say, and I put it in the same vein because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you have to find people around you and have people around you who are honest with you. And the two people who are honest with me are my father and my coach. Mm -hmm. They're not going to praise me all the time. They're going to tell me, no, you need to work on this. Mm -hmm. You know, or, you know, and you did the same thing. You always, hey, everybody tells you I look good, but you're like, you need to bring your legs up. Mm. You still need to bring your legs up, you know? So those honest, that, that was honest people you have to keep around you. And a lot of times people believe their own hype. And when you start believing your own hype, then you stop worrying about the things that really matter. And then you will step on stage and it won't go your way. Mm. You know, I get criticized all the time. Oh, he doesn't do a vacuum. Well, I haven't lost without doing a vacuum. Yeah. So what? It's not just because somebody does it doesn't mean it's for everybody. Right. Right. right? So yeah, you don't have to do a vacuum if you right. if you have a tiny waist. Exactly. What's it's, the it's, vacuum going to do? What's what, what, right. what does that prove? And it's yeah, it's cool to look at. And now every and it doesn't fit everybody's physique. Yeah. And that's another thing you got to understand. Everybody's physique is the same, so you have to do what fits your physique. True. So. True. So when you look at yourself right now, mm -hmm. or, or let, me, let me back up a little bit. So the three years that you were absent from right. the sport, because right. I, I, I heard from some, a person that talked mm -hmm. to you, saw you at the gym somewhere, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, a, it's a guy, a friend of mine, mm -hmm. who, uh, who, who approached you because he's a fan. Mm -hmm. And I remember he said, this is what he told me. He said, yeah, you know, I wanted to meet him, and I was like, you know, I like, like your physique. And then you went off and, and, and kind of complained about, yeah, I'm, not, I'm no longer competing anymore and this, this sport mm. is vain. No, similar, no. Similar to those My words. Thing, I've, never, I've never had an issue with the sport. Mm. I No, maybe you understand. just had a bad day. Probably. That was yeah. probably yeah. But I've never, I wasn't competing because I knew I wasn't ready. Mm. That's the only reason I didn't compete. Yeah. So, so you took this time because you said, listen, I am not ready. Right. And when you say ready, do you say, what that you mean, mean ready to qualify or ready to, to be at the Olympia and compete with the, big, with, the, with the best? We talked about it. And um, I remember you always told me, if you have to go to the Olympia on points, you don't need to be at the Olympia. Right. 
So I believe that. When I compete against these guys at these local shows, I it, it's different. The, the Olympia is different. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, I'm really, my genetics are just superior than the guys that I competed in the local shows. Mm-hmm. At the Olympia, we all have the same amount of great genetics. Mm-hmm. It's the same pool. So you're competing against the best of the best. I'm not going to, it's, it's not a waste of time, but it's pointless just, just to go there. Mm-hmm. You don't, nobody goes, nobody goes to the Olympia just to be at the Olympia. Mm-hmm. You go to win. Well, no, only one can win at the it, end. At so the end. Sometimes but you, you but if you really are honest with yourself, right, mm-hmm. then you're, you're going to really, really be specific on how you go, mm-hmm. on when you go, right? So, so what's the goal for this year's Olympia? And tell me, what do you see, where do you see yourself when we, let's just look at the top six. Right. We got Chris Bumstead, yep. we got Terrence Ruffin, right. who's a short guy. Mm-hmm. We got Breon, who's a mm-hmm. shorter guy. Mm-hmm. We have um, Alex Combanero. Mm-hmm. Shorter. And uh, Brian Jones. Okay. Those are the top five. Mm-hmm. So when you look at your physique and you look at these guys, and right. th- those guys most likely will be the front runners again. Okay. So where do you mm-hmm. see yourself fit in there? So I realistically, think, realistically, um, I think it's going to boil down to who can attract the eye more. I feel like my conditioning will be out of the world, out of this world. Like, it's, I don't think, I don't see anybody up there who can really, like, who get condition, as conditioned as I do, as my last throwing. Um, so, so you don't think, like, Breon or... or, or Breon, Bruce, no, Breon, or Breon, Breon, Breon does it, I think, but it's never, the thing is, I think it's going to be different because it's, we've seen it, right? But they've never seen it with me against them. I know, but when you say you bring better condition than everybody, so that means you... I'm looking you, at my conditioning from the last show. Mm-hmm. My conditioning from the last show was ridiculous. I don't, I don't know that I've seen, and I know Brian gets crazy conditioned. I've seen it. So does Chris now. He, he, he does manage to get crazy conditioned. I haven't seen it. Or Terrence. I haven't seen it. I, I haven't seen it. No. But then I haven't been focused on it. Have that's you the seen thing. the Olympia last year? No. I, that's what I'm saying. I haven't focused oh, on it. That's what, so when I, when I say that, it's just because... When I stepped away, mm-hmm. I stepped away. Okay, but why wouldn't you watch what's going on? So what tells you now that I'm ready? Why did you come because back? I look at you don't me. Watch these because guys? I look at me. Okay. I worry about me. I'm I don't just trying worry. to find out no, what I get, I get it. is. I don't ever worry about those guys. Mm. Chris is a monster. Breon is a monster. Terrence is a monster. These guys are monsters. Like, these are not... But the thing is, I can't do anything with their physique. I just know I can be better. Mm. And I have gotten better, significantly better. So... Now it's exciting. The fact that even his brother-in-law said it. Who? Ian. Ian. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, and, and I'm, the thing I'm is, just wondering where, no, do, you, I understand, where I understand. do you see yourself? Who do you compare yourself to? <laughs> None of these guys. Are. I can't. Why not? Because so it's I, not. I would, if I was you, I would, I'll tell you what I think. If I was you, I would already compare myself to Chris because Chris is tall. Right. You have right. the same height. Right. So now you're comparable with Chris. So now... For height-wise, okay? Yeah. So mm-hmm. now, it's very hard to compare you next to Terrence Ruffin. He's, I don't know, five foot four, five foot five. Right. It's, you can't compare you guys next to each other because you're going to stand out tall, you know? So, so it's easier for you. And this is a benefit. I think this is a plus for you that you stand tall like right. Chris. Because I always say, to beat Chris, you got to be at least as tall as him. See, and that's the thing. See, that I don't believe. Yeah, because well, and this is why. This is why. When he's, because when he's on. When, when he's, he's on. When Chris is off, on. When, yeah, when Chris is on, Chris is on. Like, it's, it's, you got to knock him out. That's the only way to beat Chris. I know, but what I'm saying is when you're on, as Chris, when Chris is on, how do you, when a shorter guy, it's, 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 it's almost un, unbeatable. It's almost. It's almost. But again, we all have elite genetics. That's the difference. It's different. That's why so I can't you, say, I can't say, it could be a guy that we don't even know that could come in and... Of course, but you don't know don't, that yet. We don't know. So be right. But yeah, but so, I can't talk about guys I don't no, know. I understand that, but I, for me, I can't say, oh, I'm going to compare myself to Chris and just leap over Terrence or compare mm. myself to Chris and leap over Breon, who well, is... depending on, on the mentality, while you're going to the Olympia, you want to win. I go to win, mm. right? But, but again, like I said, I can't... I can't just negate those other guys mm. like they're not there because they are there mm. and they make it there for a reason. Again, Terrence has beaten Chris before. When was that? How long ago? That was at the 
I want um was it the emerald? Yeah, but that's right. I understand. I understand. But you can't look. Chris, I Chris wasn't Chris, even quite right. I understand. You but know? I but the thing is, I look at like. Everybody has their attributes. Everybody know, has their attributes. I'm comparing these guys on stage right now. You mm -hmm. saw the diff, the the the, uh, the progress Chris made from right, right, right. Well, no, you didn't see it. Well, so I know he know, got bigger. I, he got bigger and, and so much better. His right, back, his back was his weak part. Right, and he brought it up crazy. I saw Ridiculous. that. Ridiculous, and I I expect him to be even better this year. Right, that's what I'm saying. You so know? that's why I can't say. So you don't think you stand next to you, you fare well next to him? Oh, I do. I, oh, for sure. Absolutely. I wouldn't. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think, but see, that's the thing. I, I have this mindset of I bring the best that I can bring. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not though I don't have the, oh, I can, I, I'm going to get, no, I bring the best that I can bring. We're going to see what happens. We're going to mm. let it shake it out, right? But do I have crazy, oh, yeah, I think I have crazy parts, crazy body parts, you know, and, I, and being realistic, Chris's legs are monster, right? My back is monster. Mm -hmm. I know he brought his back up. I know my arms are monster. I know his, you know what I'm saying? So we both have small waists, right? So it's like you can nitpick, and now it's going to be on the judges to see, okay, what looks better? What do I like? So what's the game plan? Go there, present my best package, better than Texas. Um, what are you going to change? What, what do you think is, can you get better from Texas to the Olympia? So honestly, I think I can get separation more on my hamstrings. Um, more separation on my and my 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 outer sweeps. I can work on those, and I'm I grow so fast that I feel like I can change the way it looked from the show mm -hmm. to now. Even my posing, slight changes in my poses, mm -hmm. right? Just the 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 little things that make it pop more, give that illusion of bigger. Who's your favorite physique out of the classic physique Me? guys now? Out of, no, not you included. Oh, wow. <laughs> who who is your favorite physique? <laughs> when you look at the guys, who do you who do you think has the best? Physique? Chris, you think Chris? Absolutely. Okay, hands down. You know, some people say Chris. I mean, uh, Terrence Ruffin, and you know, everybody has a different opinion on what favorite physique. I like I like every all of it, but my favorite mm -hmm. Chris. Mm -hmm. Chris is the front double bicep. This is crazy. Yeah. It is so like, it is what's crazy is we're so different, right? I do more like the flow, smooth type stuff. He does this powerful like front double that is ridiculous. Mm. It's, but he's, he's, I think this is gonna be. If I hope to see you guys stand next to each oh, other. Oh, it'll be good. And I'll tell you why because his strong poses are your strong poses. I agree. You know, I agree. especially for, I mean, front last spread is that a pose? No. So that's not even a pose because they're both strong. You and him. And uh, but front double biceps, back double right, biceps, right, right. and uh, and I think that uh, and, and I think in the in the favorite classic pose, you should both hit a lat spread just to see what it looks like. I think it'd be cool. Time. I think it'd be really cool. You know, so, yeah, oh yeah, but for sure. So when you look at the weight that you you know you were two thirty nine or forty nine, what did you say? Thirty nine. Two thirty eight. Two thirty eight uh -huh. in Texas. What do you think your weight should be in, in at the Olympia? I think I can weigh in at two forty. Do you think you're going to be heavier? I think so. Okay. Weigh in at 240 and then eat up probably to 246, possibly, mm. something like that, without being bloated mm. and super hard and dry. Be good. I think we'd be all right. I don't know how people weigh in and get heavier. How does that work? <laughs> something I need to learn. <laughs> it's usually, different. It's usually, definitely different. We people lose weight. weight. All right. Right. You no. Know, so it's, it, we it, definitely, I hear it all the time when people say, yeah, I'm going to carb up and be 10 pounds heavier. That's like different. I don't know about 10 pounds, but I think even, we, get, even, we, get, we, get, we get heavy. Mm. I think I was heavier than I was when I weighed in. So how much did you weigh in this time in Texas? 238. How much did you weigh on stage? Uh, you don't know? No. Okay, so, yeah. Because usually people don't get heavier. They think they get heavier because right. you carb up just to stay full. Right, 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 right. And then you lose water. And water, I always but tell I, people, is anywhere I, from 8 to 15 pounds. Yeah, I don't think I had that much in me. We were dry. Yeah. We were dry. I mean, sometimes you just, you'd be, you'd be, be surprised. surprised. Right, yeah, it's true. How much water you lose, you right. know? And it's not necessary. You see, see it. it. Right, right, right. But, uh, yeah, to, to gain weight from, uh, from, uh, from carving up, that's yeah, it's risky, too. Mm -hmm. You know, Still. especially because I think they, I don't even know when they check, they check in for the Olympics. Is that Wednesday or Thursday? So Thursdays are check-ins. So you only have one day. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm excited because I think, you know, especially winning the Texas Pro, I mean, right. you put your name back on the list. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, you had that hype before. Absolutely. Coming into the Olympics, so now you have that hype again. Absolutely. And now let's see what it looks like three right. years later. You right. know, that's what I'm excited to see. I'm, and the, I think the confidence thing is different too, right? Because mm. I knew, like, um, with, with my last showings at the Olympia, I felt small, right? Mm. I ain't going to lie. I walked backstage. What's your, what's your weight limit? 240. Oh, okay. So I remember walking backstage and seeing, like, I seen Breon, seen Chris, I seen Arash, um, and I saw those guys, and I'm like, man. And they would walk, and their legs would shake because they're so big. Mm. And I looked in the mirror, and I'm like, this ain't going to be good because I knew that my I was tight, but I, wasn't, I didn't mm. have that size, you know. And um, I think they were probably at their weight cap. Me, I was... 10, 15 pounds under, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, ah, oh, this might be bad. You no, know, Chris wasn't, because he still has so much weight he can gain. Does he? I think he's like, if I'm not mistaken, I think he still has 19 pounds Bruh. To, to gain. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I think it was still 19 yeah, pounds. Chris is ridiculous. Because he's your height. I know. So, and I, I know for a fact he wasn't even close. Right. So he, I think He's he, ridiculous. Yeah, I think so. He has, he has weight to, room to grow. What do you think about Brian Jones, also a fellow uh, Arizonan? Placed first Olympia last year, placed right. fifth. Right. What do you see? In him? Um, have you have you seen I've him seen at all? Him. Mm-hmm. Um, he has a different physique. Totally, it's really, yeah. really different. Um, People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back. You know I'm going to grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables. F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. He, I I don't know that it's classic because his his legs are huge. (laughs) His legs are huge. Um, He has a small waist. It's just a different type of physique. It's not like a... I, I don't know. I, I don't, I, it was a really different type of physique. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, the judges liked do, him. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, and, and that's really what matters at the end of the day. First, it was his first Olympia, and he was, right. you know, they have him in the top five. So right. that's, and right. it was, I think there was a, a shitload of competitors, yeah. you know. And then when you see guys, you know, that we've been talking about, not only with the whole industry, you're talking like Steve. Steve, Steve Lourdes. Yes, right, 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 from right. New York. Which is, I believe, one of the greatest physics out there too. Crazy. He just did not nail the condition. Right. Yet. So if you know, if right. he ever nails it, it's gonna be a problem. It's he's definitely gonna be, gonna be. He's definitely a problem. Yeah, it's absolutely gonna be a problem. So, but you beat those guys. Right. So you came back and you beat guys like Logan Franklin, right. Steve, right. Which automatically puts you on the map. Right. Okay. And it, it, I wouldn't say it was it was close. So right. it wasn't really close. They said it was a one-point difference. That's what they said? That's what they said. Okay, well, then it was close. Right. Anyways, you beat him. Right. And Logan Franklin didn't even make top ten last year. Okay. Did he? Um, I thought he made seventh. Yeah? I think so. I don't know. I, uh, okay. At the Olympia. At the Olympia, I yeah. I think he made seventh. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but he made tremendous improvements. He did. He, you know? he, so he, he, got, mm-hmm. he got bigger. He's not at the limit yet. So, but you beat those guys, and for right. that, for that, and I think because it's the last show that before the Olympia, I think the judges will remember you. Right. You know, which is good for you. Oh, for sure, there, absolutely. You know? So, um, all you gotta do is just stay. Make sure you don't hit, you don't hurt yourself. Don't right, get right, sick, right. Don't no, catch yeah, COVID. Right, right, right. You ever I had know. COVID? No, sir. So you've been there this whole time. Yes, sir. Oh, I've yeah. been training the whole time yeah. through COVID. I trained through all of all of that. I didn't take any time off. I have not taken time off mm. from the gym. At all. So the gyms were open? I found gyms that were open. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's the thing, right? You, you know, if it's, it's one of those things that I just stayed super consistent. I never stopped. And um, I think that's why I was able to do, grow and get better yeah. and better because I just didn't stop. This is, this is, this is not a, it's never a, a, a chore for me to go to the gym. Mm. You know, it's never a, 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 motivation thing oh what's motivation to go to? i don't need motivation to go to the gym 
Mm. <laughs> I like going to the How gym. old are you now? I'm 34 now. 34. Yes, sir. Still young. Still young. Yes, sir. So, so what, what, so since you want to get bigger to the Olympia, so you're going to up the food or what Absolutely. changes, what Absolutely. changes so, did you make? How many meals you eat a day? <clears throat> seven. Seven meals. Um, and all of my meals are full of carbs. Um, I, it's hard for me to maintain weight and mm-hmm. hold my weight. So we have to keep eating. Mm-hmm. Um, I lose, I, we got it down to the point where I lose two pounds um, during cardio, 35 minutes of cardio stairs. When I'm sleeping, when I get a full eight hours of sleep, I get five pounds off. When I sleep only, or during my work days, when I work, because I work 12 hour shifts. Um, okay, so that's why you start working at six tonight, right? I work 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Um, and so during prep, I have to do my fasted cardio. So I stop my meals at two o'clock in the morning I finish work and then take a nap from um, seven to 10. I get up, I do cardio, come back, eat my first meal, and then um, get ready to go back to work again. Mm. So that's my daily routine on my work days. And then on military weekends, I'm stationed in Minnesota. That's where my base is, yes. So I fly to Minnesota once a month. Oh, okay. And go do my military training there. Um, I have to take my food with me. To make sure How I long eat. you stay there then? Two days. Two, oh, okay. Two so days. Just two days. Mm-hmm. Two so days. now here you are... I work at Intel. Gotcha. I work at Intel. So that's basically what you always wanted to do? Yes. So okay. I, my, I actually made it come true, right? So I work at Intel. I design microprocessors. Um, and that's my full-time job. Mm-hmm. And then my part-time would be the Air Force one weekend a month. Two weeks out of the year, I have to go there for a stint. But one weekend a month, I go there in Minnesota and do my work there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just met your boy. Who's that? Steve. Steve, yes. The, the one guy that wraps yes, your color bomb. So this is where you got your, what, color bomb? That's color bomb. The, that's the company. That's what they call it. They call okay. the company. Uh-huh. And yeah, I went there. He, he, he blacked out my chrome on the right, car. Right, 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 right. And that's when I found out that you go there, too. Oh, yeah. You know, so he, he's a funny dude. Yeah, he, he's a really nice guy. Yeah. Really nice guy. <laughs> yeah, he oh, talked. Yeah. He said he wants to take you to the gym. Yeah, I know. He, he, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> So 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 what happened to the car that uh, the one that you sold my GTR right so I sold it because it was at the point of I was I made it to the point to where I owed what it was worth oh so you still owed so, as much as he was uh, so exactly he so it, no no had I held, had I held it another year it would have dropped and then I would have owed more than it was worth gotcha so I sold it at that point. So I didn't have to worry about. So did you get the money? I did. Okay, I did. I did. I did. I did. Right. So now another question: Are you still with Kaspari? No, I'm not. So you are you with any supplement I'm not with sponsors right now? No. So hey, if you are supplement <laughs> sponsors, listen. <laughs> you know, if you, li- I mean, uh, do we get this out before the Olympia? It's gonna. I'm, the, the producer said it's gonna have to be. So guys, try to sign them before the O. <laughs> Smart move. Smartest move would be trying to make this deal before the O. So yeah, yeah. So so so, are you you looking for a sponsor? I am. I just you know again, it's one of those things where it has to make sense. Because again, I work two three jobs. Mm-hmm. You know, they're gonna want to travel. They want you know and stuff like that. So that takes away from my main job, and then I have to make it. You know what I mean? And I'm and I work in teams. Mm-hmm. So you strain your team at the job, and it's kind of like. They, so you're not really looking looking. Not really. I'm just. Um, so if the opportunity I'll take, arises, I'll take that if, back. no, 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 don't take that back. <laughs> if the opportunity arises, then you know we'll go from there. But yeah. it, it has to make sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. L- listen, man. I I hope everything works out. As do I. And I uh, I'm really really looking forward to it, man. I can't wait because I think that made that made the classic physical limb but just just a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I agree. Year. I agree. Because. And I said the same to to Brian Jones because right. he's a taller guy too. Right. He's not six one, but I think he's six right, right. or five eleven. Mm-hmm. And I think it takes a tall guy to stand next to a tall champ. I agree. And uh, I I'm sure that Chris Bum is Chris Bumstead is aware of you, and he, oh, I'm, I'm sure, sure. he's oh, yeah. watching. And I and I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Chris. I respect him. Yeah. So that's why I got to make sure I come correct. Yeah. I, I just, you know, I appreciate when, when people put the work in, you know, and I saw Absolutely. how you put the work in. I saw how he changed Absolutely. from 19 to 20. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I think it can only get better. I talked to Breon, right. was it last week or two weeks ago? He's very confident. Okay. 
You know, he's confident. Which he should be. Yeah. He, he yeah, has every very, right to be. So I think it's it's going to be, and if everybody is on. It's going to be, a, yeah. it's gonna, this is going to be one for the fans. Yeah. If, every, if yeah. everybody comes in on, this is going to be a show for the fans. I asked every, every single one of them I talked to, I said, give me your top six. Uh-huh. The way you think it's going to go. Mm -hmm. Or the way you want it to go, because right. it could be the same thing. Right. So give me your top six. Ooh. Looking at the guys on the top right now, and where do we? Where do? Where would you put yourself? <clears throat> Think about it, because you don't. You don't want to forget nobody. And hurt so I, know, I know. I know. I know. I know. All right. I'm gonna give you some names. Okay. All right. Um, Breon, Terrence, Alex, Brian Jones. Um, Chris, um, Urs, Urs, yes, Urs from Germany. Mm -hmm. I just talked to him th this morning. Mm -hmm. Urs, Mike Sommerfeld. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard of him. Mm -hmm. He's the one that beat Urs in Tijuana. Mm -hmm. Then um, some of the other guys. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. What do you think about Urs? Then let's talk about Urs real quick. Twenty-two years old. Pretty physique. And peeled. Pretty, pretty physique. He's, I remember he turned pro like a couple of weeks before my show in Germany, and he, my show in Germany was his pro debut. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, I remember l meeting this guys in the gym for some video footage, and right. I look at this guy and I tell him, I said, "You got, you got a bright future," because he was like twenty. You know, pretty beautiful physique. Yeah. Beautiful. So you think he can, uh, he can, he can be in the mix? Man, he, he absolutely. Yeah. I mean, how tall is he? I know he's not tall. He's right? not that tall. He might be five. But so it'll nine, be, it's ten. gonna be. It's gonna be. I think. I think it's gonna be a, a, a battle of like groups and groups, right? Mm. You have the shorter guys and then the taller think, guys, and then the that for mix. You and Urs mm. is that you guys did the last two shows, right? And the judges will remember, right, right, right. So, so I, to give us top six, that's ugh. try, man, try. Come Ooh. on. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't have you, okay, I got the champ already, obviously in there, right? <laughs> yeah. Chris has to be in there. Breon's been there before. Right, Breon, and Breon is relentless. So I feel like Breon has a point, a chip on his shoulder, and he still has a point to prove. Mm -hmm. So I put Breon up there as well. Terrence, I can see Terrence in there, um, but I was, I was I was watching video, and I Terrence is just an artist. He's a real real artist. So he, I can see Terrence in there. I could see. I, those, I, are, those are the top three from last year. I, I will see them in there without looking. Right, 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 right. Um, and then you got. I'm. I feel like I'm. I know I'm gonna be in there. I know. Well, I'm, I oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, I'm definitely in there. I was. That was without a, without a doubt. I, I really honestly Hopefully believe I'm. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So we got four. We got two more. I know Alex. He got fourth last year. Mm -hmm. Brian Jones got Brian fifth. Brian Jones got fifth, right? Urs wasn't there. Urs wasn't there, and I think Urs will probably push um, Alex. Just throw two more names out before we have it. I, I just... Oh. I say Urs and Alex. Urs and Alex, okay. So you think Brian Jones is going to be out of the top six? I'm there. Yeah. That, yeah, so that means you pick him <laughs> I, I think, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like. There's nothing wrong with saying I, that. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. And that's the thing, right? It's one of those things, right? <laughs> uh, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, because I'm not that that competitive kind of guy. Like, I'm super competitive like that, but I'm just saying, like, I know what I'm incapable of, uh, you know? So we'll see, you know? It's yeah. definitely different. I, I know think, I'm, I know I'm different. I know my yeah. physique is different. I think you got, yeah, very good shot of uh, I agree. standing next to Brian mm -hmm. Jones, because Brian Jones, it's not as strong from the back, you know? So, and you, when you turn around, it's, you know. It's always been like that, yeah, though. Yeah. So, yeah, you do have, uh, you have a lot of good points. So, and if they judge physique like the, it was in the back in the days, then I would, there wasn't no. Right. Huge sweeping right. spots. That right. Was, that and that's the thing. The that's, you know, it's, and, and Ian said it. He said, yeah, his legs aren't crazy. But it works. Yeah. It, it, and it, that's it, the thing. It works. Yeah. And I know that it works. Yeah. So 
when people always, oh, you, your legs, are, okay, I get it. I get it, you know? And for me, it's a constructive thing to where it's like, okay, me personally, I feel like they can be a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. I understand that. That's not a, that's not a knock on me. That's they, a, I think they that, will be bigger. They will be bigger, though. Yeah, that's the thing. And keep since, working. And the thing is, you got to, uh, once I hear it, I don't need to repeat it. You're tired of hearing it? You, you know that. I, I, once I hear it once, I work on it and I make it happen. Mm. I just did it. They said, oh, if he comes back, he won't be able to compete with the new guys. This whole different thing. Mm. We just see what happened in Texas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and I put a video after I finished, after Texas, I was like, I told you, like, I know, I know how to do this. Like, I do this. So don't, just understand that it's different over here. Mm -hmm. And my camp is different. Yeah, I, I, hey, listen, we all ready. We can't wait to see you guys go at it. And oh, yeah. then uh, we will see who has the bragging rights, especially here in Arizona. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I want to thank you for making this time, man. I know you got your meals and training oh, yeah. and everything, Absolutely. and you got to get get to work tonight. Yes, sir. So thank you for coming on. I will DJ, hopefully we you. can get you back into the new studio yes. after the Olympia. Yes, I'll be here. So you we can that. so we can talk about you know what happened at the Olympia and Absolutely. how everything went. All right, brother. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. I appreciate it. And this is it for Robert the Classic Prince. Damn. <laughs> thank you.